Morning, people. Welcome back to the Just Your Football Show. It is time for the final word. I know I promised you a match day vlog. However, I apologise. Got there. Brain. Just wanted to sample the atmosphere. I know it's a little bit selfish, but I didn't want to sit there with my phone. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, it was quite the experience. Emotional. Amazing. Just every kind of emotion you can imagine. And I was lucky enough to be one of the people that was there. Um, so I didn't match their vlog. It. What I'm going to do instead for you, I'm going to get the final word out tonight. There'll be nothing dropping at 6 a.m. in the morning. I'm a tired boy. I need to rest, recuperate. Um, but I will be doing, of course, Super Sunday watch-alongs on the Just Your Football Show. So you can join me for that. But this is the final word on what was an enthralling, exhilarating 2-2 draw at Ellen Road. Really, really enjoyed the game of football. Before we do get into it, in some more detail, please smash a like on the stream, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And if you want the vlog, there's plenty of vlogs out there. I even think Connor might have done one, or Leeds TV will be doing one, Lewis, Nathan, all your see vloggers, the lot, man, they're all there. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to stop rambling now, and let's talk about Leeds versus Everton. And this is the moment when I take a stand, got... So, guys, yeah, look. What a game of football. A high, entertaining, exhilarating, enthralling 2-2 draw at Ellen Road. Of course, I'm disappointed that Leeds United didn't get all three points. But on the face of it, it was a fair result. You know, um, they had chances to nick it. We looked the better of the two sides towards the end of the game. Um, it was just an amazing experience to be there. Like, you can't, I, I can't lie, you know, after so long, 532 days, I think it was, to see friends, you know, those that I've sat with for a number of seasons now, they knew who they are, getting to, you know, embrace, all that sort of stuff. I was even lucky enough to watch, see some regulars. I want to shout out McAllister. He, he even got me, he even got his ID out. McAllister got his ID out because he's named after Gary McAllister. I didn't believe him, but he showed me. Uh, big shout out Stuart Cundall as well. Um, and, and I just want to shout out two legends, Alison and Mai Adams. Um... You guys will know them if you watch the Just Your Football Show, you watch the vlogs. Um, they're absolute legends, supporters of, of all the Leeds content creators. And I got to meet them in the flesh. I gave them both an embrace. Great guys. And uh, yeah, I, I know they'll be watching this. So I just want to shout them both out. Um, absolute legends. Legends of the game. Um, but let's talk about it in some more detail. Of course, it was a 2-2 a draw. Um, I think it was a fair result. Look, 17 shots apiece. Not something you're used to from a Rafa Benitez side. I'm not going to lie. When they won't want to look from that penalty, I'm thinking we're going to struggle here. But it was so open. It was so open. Of course, Leeds United dominated possession. Um, we dominated the early parts of the first half for me. Um, obviously, Everton, against the run of play it was for me. I thought Damari Gray, by the way. I just want to shout out Damari Gray as well. I absolutely gave Everton stick and was mocking that signature of Damari Gray at 1.5 million. However, based on today's performance, it will be a snip. It will be a snip. I thought he gave both Aileen and Dallas when he was there a bit of a torrid time. He was the key man for me. He was a real threat uh, for 1.5 million. What a steal. But the thing is about consistency. If you can maintain it, then yeah, fair enough. Um, but he was a real fawn in our side. He actually got an early ball across the face of goal. I think he, he did Aileen, then did Cooper. Cooper... Struggles with pace, admittedly. Um, I just want to speak on Cooper as well. I've seen a lot of shade thrown his way after, of course, giving away the penalty. He shouldn't have held on. It was silly. It was a penalty. Okay, it went to VAR. I didn't even know it was going to VAR at the time because Click was down and I just assumed it was a lull due to Click's injury. Then I looked at the board and it was going, checking possible pen. As soon as the referee goes up to the screen, you know he's giving it, came on good. It was a great penalty. Melier went, went the right way, but Dominic Calvert-Lewin's probably not going to miss from that, that, that area of the pitch. Although normally Luca Dina takes them. So I don't know why that was a switch, but it was a great penalty. And Everton, I won the look. But it, just props to Cooper, because I thought he had an OK game. You know, I'm reading reports that, OK, maybe he didn't. But in my opinion, I thought he did well. Dominic Calvert-Lewin's a, a tough operator. Dominic Calvert-Lewin's a top striker. In terms of his physical attributes, what's he, what he brings, I know people have said to me, like, oh, there's so much better than him, so Cooper will struggle even more. Forgetting that Cooper spent a whole season in the Premier League last season. Like, you know, are you forgetting about this? He hasn't forgot. He's not a poor player. This is just my opinion. I feel like I have to defend him because it doesn't fit the narrative when he's 
laid on the assist. He's laid on the assist for Rafinha's goal. But it's all about, oh, he's rubbish getting out of the side. He got an assist. <laughs> so, say what you want. Because so, so, some players in that situation might not lay it back to Rafinha for him to score that absolute wonder strike. They might not do that. They might have a goal themselves. But he had the foresight to say, you know what? Lay off. I know it might seem simple, but what I'm saying is, if you're gonna, if you're gonna hammer him at one end for giving away the pen, which is fair enough, at least give him praise at the other for, you know, um, getting an assist. People telling me he's not good enough. He's fourth choice. He should be get out of the side. All that sort of stuff. Get up, no man. What are you talking about? And these people that go, he's the word. There is a reason Bielsa plays him. There is a reason Bielsa plays him. There is a reason that this guy has been captain under every single manager we've had, even when he weren't getting games. Even when he was on the bench, when you had Pontus Janssen and Kyle Bartley, as soon as he was used in the side, the captaincy was given back to him. There's a reason he's there. He's a real leader. And people are oh, a cheerleader, someone said. Come on, man. There's more to his game than that. He played a lovely ball in the centre of the park for Click, just on Mateus Click as well. He's getting back to his best. Getting back to his best, had a great preseason. This is the thing: people hammering Click will be the same people that were telling me. Uh, people hammering Cooper, sorry, will be the same people that were telling me that Click should needs to go, that Click needs to go. You know, one of my favourite things from today's game was twenty yards or thirty yards everywhere we go, forty yards or fifty yards. Click is scoring goals. The noise was absolutely amazing. Big shout out Patrick Bamford. Big shout out Rafinha as well, battling Coleman. You know, he got the better of that battle for me. Um, and he gets a little flick on onto Bamford. Bamford, I thought, was good as well today, leading the line. Him and Yerry Mina, it was really good to see them to and fro. And it's what you like to see. It's what you like to see. Obviously, when he was at the other end, he had that exchange early doors. Uh, Mina tried to win a silly free kick, throwing himself on the floor. And then when they come and were shooting towards the cop, I got to see it a little bit more. And it was, it was good, man. It was good. I was just hoping that Bamford was going to get the winner and give it this to him because that's all that was missing from it. But it was good to see that that to and fro. But Bamford's weighted pass into Click for that first goal was beautiful. And Click, he's not he's not missing from there. He's not missing from there. Great, great goal. Like I say, great scored uh, in the second half. I thought we would go on and win the game. I'm not. I'm, I, I said to Sean, my pal, I go with three one leads now. Three one will just go on. Um, wasn't to be the case. And Damari Gray, who I said gave props to him earlier on, scored a lovely little goal. I looked, could Melier do better? But I think it goes through Dallas's legs and it's difficult. And he puts it in the only place where he can't save it. You know, maybe if Dallas isn't obstructing his view, then he gets down and he saves it. Again, that knocks the wind out of your sails. But, you know, Rafinha. Rafinha loves a goal against Everton, doesn't he? Loves a goal against Everton. That, that's free and free. You know, you get them players. I bet every time we come up against Everton, it'll be like, Rafinha's going to score. Rafinha's going to score. And when he did score, he then just went... Phew. He was just grabbing, because when he scored, I was thinking he's coming over to the fans, because there's a little moment that you won't see on the camera. When he went to take the first corner at the cop end, he came over and he had a proper grin on his face. He loved it. He absolutely loved it. Um, and when he's when he's coming to take the corner, like I say, you could see he was just lapping it up. He was lapping it up. It was amazing in there today. Amazing in there today. And um, anyway, yeah, he's goal, man. Calvin, my man of the match. I know a lot of people will say Rafinha Calvin. Totally different side, animal in the midfield, won everything. Oh, he's passing. If you look at the, the Rafinha goal, that ball into the box, it reminded me of Henderson. I see Henderson pull them balls off. And Henderson's mint. <laughs> like, he's mint. He's won Champions League, Premier Leagues. He's mint when he's on it, you know. And he reminds, you know, he had, Henderson plays them ball. Henderson played a similar ball. Um, towards the back post. I think it might have been for Jota in the Liverpool game. They didn't score from it, but it was one of them where you think, that's a beauty, that. Calvin did it for that goal. Uh, I think Strauch and Cooper both compete for it. Drops, Cooper, lay off Rafinha. Bam. Lovely goal. Um, I love Phil Hare. Phil Hare said, this strike was both a thunder bastard and a symphony at the same time. Uh, and it was that. It was a beauty. Um, you know, he loves it against them, as I say. He was class. Um, Calvin, class. I thought Ilya Melier looked great. Superb save to deny, Don, you know, DCL. Um, a second goal when he was through. I think Alex Awobi did Firpo. Puts it into Calvert-Lewin. Should do better. You know, Firpo was then taken off not long after Shackleton brought on. Tyler came on. The thing is with Tyler, I do like him. Look, I heard fans around me getting on him all the time. 
getting on him all the time. And I'm not saying he weren't doing things wrong, but because it's Tyler, it's, oh, Tyler, oh, Tyler. But the thing is with Tyler, when the ball's come into him, his first touch, sometimes his turns, his swivels, beautiful. But then it's after that and it's, oh, come on. There was one way we, we we made a break and there was plenty of white bodies and it was easy to play in. And he, and he passes it to Keane. And Keane, by the way, he's pants. I think Michael Keane's pants, genuinely. Don't rate him. I thought he was terrible today. Um, I thought, you know, Harrison. I thought Harrison had a great game as well. Um, Harrison was really good. Um, although, you know, the final ball, etc., might not have been there, but he did some great stuff. Great stuff with the ball at his feet, and he keeps getting better. He keeps getting better season on season. Um, look, R Rodrigo didn't take part today. Bielsa said he would have taken part. When I seen Roberts come on, I thought, oh, that's quite telling that he's not brought, Ro brought Rodrigo on. Turns out Rodrigo had a knock. I think he could have had an impact on today's game. Bielsa's backing him. He said, look, Bielsa said he would have started today 100%. He's, he's been doing great in pre-season, etc. So he's going to be back in the side for Burnley. Robin Cock, injury, pubic bone. Yeah, you couldn't write this stuff, could you? Robin Cock has got an injury on his pubic bone. Um, but I think had Cock been fit, I think he would have started. And I think he would have started on the right side of the defence and Cooper would have been on the left. Just to just to further, you know, Cooper being the man kind of thing. Um, but, but you know, Pascal did great again um, today. Um, there's a long way to go for Pascal on this road and he will be amazing. He will be amazing. Um, but I think, you know, I feel like I have to defend Cooper. I feel like I have to defend Cooper. But all in all, guys, it was a great game of football. 17 shots apiece. Of course, Leeds United dominance. You know, Bielsa said himself, we had dominance in the game. With that superiority and management with the ball, we should have created more chances at goal and we should have suffered less chances at goal. But again, it was it was very end-to-end. -end. 17 shots apiece shows you that. Um, is that a little bit concerning, the fact that we had 70% of the ball and they still had 17 chances and we didn't have more than that? And Do you know what I mean? Maybe there is something in that. And I do agree with Bielsa that we did have large parts of dominance and didn't create enough from that. Um, but I'm just happy. It's a point on the board. It's a point on the board. And it's a good point. You know, you're disappointed you didn't win, but we're saying it's a good point. It's a great game of football. We're back in Ellen Road. We drew 2-2 two -two, two -two against a great side that just, you know, you know, beat, beat Southampton all ends up. And this is what I'm saying when people were worried. There's a lot worse teams in the division than us. Southampton being one of them. Burnley being another. Norwich, Watford, Crystal Palace. All these other teams, you know. So we're going to be totally fine. And that showed you that. You know, I think a lot of people, yes, we want transfers. Yes, we want bodies in the door. But today's performance should, we're going to be fine. We're going to be fine. Um, and we, like I say, we've got Burnley next. And if we can get three points there, that's four on the board from the first three, having played Man United and Everton. It's decent. It's decent, you know. Um, I'm happy. I'm happy, you know. Uh, I'm a happy boy. It was great to be back in Ellen Road. Look ahead to Tuesday, crew. Then, of course, we've got... Um, we've got... Um, uh, Burnley away uh, and then we've got an international break which is rubbish but I will be doing all that stuff but listen I hope you enjoyed the final word it's going to be out be nothing dropping at 6am uh, in the morning I thought I'd release this as soon as I've done it um, and then we will have Super Sunday on the Just Your Football Show so we've got two games to look forward to uh, tomorrow as well so make sure you tune in for them and thank you as always for watching let me know if you agree disagree put your comments in hit the notification bell like the video and of course subscribe to that channel as we're on that road to 7k Thank you as always for watching. Peace out now. Lee